Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for, you know, focusing in on your blessings and your dreams and going for them and you keep going no matter what has been thrown in your path you know i know it might seem hard when we're going through our situation but remember it doesn't rain all the time the sunshine gotta come out someday <laughs> and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are y'all waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact to get and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites as well. And once again, thank you so much for stopping by and showing support and love to the channel. I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And this beautiful music I am listening to, I, I'm glad that y'all like the, um, the, the meditation music that I put in the background it's just like really soothing it's just like when y'all go you know when we go through stuff and everything we want to be able to clear our clear our thoughts and our minds and our hearts and stuff like that and just be able to meditate and you know get something good good words in it you know on top of that as well so you know I try to send out as much positivity whether it's thumbnails or the music I play in the background or just the message I'm trying to put out so I'm glad y'all can be able to have all that wrapped up in one so anyways, but my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Empaths, remember, it's all in a state of mind. There are some comments that I've um, had and there's people that I've talked to. And it's just like, even me as well. Um, I've been on that path where, you know, I felt like I was alone. You know, you're going through so many things and you just feel like, God, why is this happening to me? You know, you're not here. You're not answering my prayers and all these things. But it's just like when you're at that low frequency and you allow your ego to rule overrule you it'll tell you oh you're going to be going through this situation forever um it's never going to nothing's ever going to turn out right for you you know there will you know ego will throw doubt in there because it's just like in the back of our subconscious we have fear on certain things you know especially if you've been going through a negative pattern and you've been in a negative state of mind for so long it's like that ego does not like it when you you know you're switching up like hold up wait a minute this ain't normal Wait a minute, she, she or he ain't been doing this before. What, what is this new stuff? Like, hold up, wait a minute, I don't like that, I don't like that. You know, it, it will let you think that way. And there's comments I've had, Rosalind, I feel so alone, I feel so alone. We are never alone. Especially with empaths, we're never alone. I mean, it might feel like that because of the situations we put ourselves in or the situation that's been thrown at us. Because it can be either from the decisions we made or it's just for us holding on to things that you know it needed to shine that light on us for us to know like okay you can't keep going down this path like this all the time you have to be able to find a different way on how to dealing with things or on how to not even cope because I feel like cope is just like putting a band-aid on a broken you know a broken finger you know that's not gonna help you know it might keep it from wiggling but you know it's not gonna fix it back so it's just like, you know, when I've been in my situations to where I was just like, God, I feel like I'm alone. There's nobody here for me. And, you know, things are never going to turn around for me. But it's just like you have to pay attention to all the signs and the synchronicities that you, you're going through. Things that have been thrown in your path to catch your attention. Like there are so many things that, you know, I had to look at a certain or a different way as a step back. And just like instead of going about things in an emotion, just actually think logic. You know, and there's sometimes it's hard to do, especially if you're all up in your feelings and you're feeling some type of way. So it's just like sometimes you have to give yourself that time to calm down and to know that, you know, I'm never alone. Even though I might feel like I'm alone, I'm never alone. You have your loved ones that, you know, that have passed on this with you. You know, you probably hear little whispers in your head as well as that ego be playing around. You'll hear whispers in your head. You know, don't give up. You know, this is not going to last all the time. You know, and there's times that, you know, I used to feel like there was nobody there with me nobody there with me at all and it's just like i would hear little little things in the back of my head to let me know i wasn't alone 
because there could be certain times I would think about something or I'll say it out loud when I'm by myself and it could be music I'm listening to and it'll be right all of a sudden the music will be thrown on right about what the things I was talking about so I know I'm not alone and it's just like even though you might be physically alone you're spiritually you're never alone you always got your archangels your spirit guides your loved ones and just all those things wrapped up in the one that is there but it's just like we have to get out of that you know that negative frame of mind and start thinking you, even if you start you know if you keep thinking that way oh I'm always alone I'm never going to get out of this situation you are like basically putting that out to the universe that that won't happen and that'll be the attention you're drawing back to saying okay she's not going to get out of this or he's not going to get out of that because that's what they keep believing and you have to tell yourself i'm not going to always keep going through the same things over and over again i my whatever i'm going through will prevail i'm not going to go through this all the time the sun's going to come out for me or I'm just going to have to say, I, I'm going to try to do my best on changing whatever I can change to get me in a better situation. So you have to get out that low frequency. You have to get out of that negative frame of mind that things are not going to happen for you. Because if you keep saying that, exactly what you're putting out, that's exactly what you're going to get back. So you have to make sure when you're telling yourself things and you're out there pushing stuff out, you have to be very mindful on the things that you say about yourself as well as others. And I had to really learn from that because I always tell myself, even though situations pop up, I have to keep telling myself, this is not going to always be that way. It's not because, I mean, I've seen so many changes, positive changes, blessings that have came along because it was like when I first started doing this, you know, like I've said before, when I first started doing videos, this was for me to be doing a reach, a outreach for my family for them to come watch the videos i didn't know all these other empaths was gonna come in and start you know telling me hey Roslyn, i've been through this or hey Roslyn, i can resonate with that or thank you Roslyn, i never knew i was alone and it just threw a whole monkey wrench in my program i'm like dang okay i didn't know my f-ups is going to be somebody's validation and okay i'm not going through all this alone and it brought me so many promising blessings out of that. And I got to meet so many beautiful people out of that situation. So when I knew, you know what? Hey, I'm on the right path. I'm going somewhere. This is going to give me some, you know, this is going to bring me towards some positive, beautiful things in my life. I meet other people. I, I found out more things about myself that I wasn't even aware of because I kept that that um, positive outset about it, even though there's times where I felt doubtful. But anytime I felt that way, there was always something that came in and brought my attention that, no, you're wrong. So you have to really look at things a different way. Don't try to make any kind of permanent decisions on a temporary emotion. You have to always, you can't be doing that. Because it's just like when we start making decisions, when we're all up in our feelings, it will mess you up in a minute. And then you couldn't blame nobody but yourself because it's just the way you went about it and there's just times where I get frustrated I'm not gonna lie I get frustrated and I'm just like God I'm tired of going through this or oh I'm ready for things to hurry up and change because I'm tired of going through this but then he gives me that strength to keep you know while I'm dealing with this he gives me that strength to keep carrying on and I know that things are going to get better for me I might not know exactly what's going on behind the scenes because you never know what's going on behind your back when you know you're going towards something positive and you really know that you're doing everything the best way you can, there's some times where if you know if it's just not moving nowhere, you place that in the universe and say, you know what, I've done my best. I've tried what I need to try. But then it's just like, okay, that's just God telling you, saying, okay, you did this your way. You know, leave this at my feet and allow me to help you do the rest. And that's all you got to do. I'll let the universe do the work. So it's just like, especially when it comes to people too, and remember, you know, com what comes around goes around. So it's just like you got to be mindful, especially when you have people that come into your life and try to intentionally hurt you because we have narcissistic people that gravitate towards us and they will do things that can tear your life apart. And trust me, I know I'm, I'm, I'm damn near kind of sit up here and, and had all different kind of narcissistic people pop up in my life. And I learned from each and every one of them, even though I don't have to say blessings and prayers towards those people. That's all you can do. So that's all you can truly do. So it's just like when you know that you've done right and people have done you wrong, trust and believe that karma going to come back to them. And you have to remember, big things about tables, they always turn.
So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe day. And I hope y'all enjoyed your weekend. And much love to you. Know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. My post notification uh, shout out goes out to True Blue. Much love to you. And I hope you had a blessed weekend. And many blessings heading towards your way. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And drop me a line if you are, are comfortable enough. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And last but not least, and go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And I will see you on the next one. Peace and be wild.